Om Shanti, welcome back. We are here with 21st of August God blessing. Either we make our mind far sighted or we make our mind suppressed or we make our mind positive. The only three choices with us and this is what we can explore and how and why God is guiding us to not suppress our mind but to make our mind positive. So God Father says, may you become far sighted and make your mind positive instead of suppressing it. Suppressing it means daman. and make it suman make it positive on the path of devotion the devotees make so much effort to make their minds peaceful and quiet with breathing exercises that is pranayam and that's what we've seen most of the people do they do the meditation by focusing on their breathing by stopping the breathing by focusing on other different pranayam kriyas and god says your focus is still on yourself your focus is still on the physical aspect of your body <clears throat> but meditation is for the purpose of mukti or liberation in life that means a focus which is not on any physical things around you <clears throat> not on your own physical body not on physical aspects around you your mind should not be focused on anything physical that means you should not even remember your body in the end but while doing pranayam you feel you breathing obviously so your focus is on your body on your breath that is not the meditation or the yoga vidya for liberation in life all of you have directed and kept your minds busy on the one father and that is all so in pranayam since we don't know where god lives how does he look what is his name what does he do when does he come on earth and what does he tell us about our previous births since we don't have this vidya or knowledge that's why we're focusing on the breath so god says once you get this knowledge of who the creator is how did he create this world what is going to happen to the creation once the kali yuga is going to come to an end and how and when it's going to come to an end then you can focus not on your breath but you can focus on the one father and that is raj yoga that is become a raja of your mind and tell it to focus on the father because the last breath should be remembering the father so god then says you have not suppressed your mind so in normal cases what we do we don't remember we don't think about the family we don't think about the money we don't think about the business we don't think about the job we don't think about the boss we don't think about the work focus on your breath so we are trying to suppress it god says once you remember me you can think about your family and everything else in the way i teach you to remember them or to do your karma with them but you have made it positive you not suppress it we have made it positive that means we have turned our tides towards positivity <clears throat> be it our work be it a business be it a job be it a uh, karma in hand which is in front of us right now so god says now your mind has elevated thoughts and this is why it is a positive mind a mind has got elevated thoughts and that is why this is why it is a positive mind the wandering of your mind has stopped and it has found its destination you now know the beginning the middle and the end the three aspects of time and so you have become far sighted because when we were not having this knowledge we did not know what happened to our past why we are facing these karmic accounts in our life why some people are doing these things to us and what is going to happen to us in the future and what is going to happen to our generations in the future god says well don't think about the generations because i have come to change the complete world i have come to change the world from hell to heaven from kaliyug into satyug means true yuga instead of the false yuga So God says, when you know about the three aspects of time, you become far sighted. You can think like me. You can see the visions like me of what exactly is happening in the world, and then you can make your decisions and make your steps count. And so you have become far sighted and have a broad and an unlimited intellect. This is why you are free from having to labor. The whole world is running towards money. Run. The whole world is running towards post position. The whole world is running towards knowing, getting to know more people so that they can have the upper hand. Whereas God says, you have the highest hand. You have me in your hand, and to have me in your hand, you have to have Raj Yoga with me. You have to have Yoga with me. You have to have a loving connection with me, and everything will be in your favor. The whole world will be going one way, and you'll be going one way. That is God's way. So to learn more about this way. to visit the pramukh mike center and learn this beautiful art om shanti vidyas